So we have a 12 volt battery here and we need to light up these two light bulbs. We'll assume that these light bulbs are rated for 12 volts. So with that being the case, how do we do it? A parallel circuit would have it go from here to here. We'll say it's connected to this side of the bulb and a second wire will head over this way. Then to complete the circuit, we'll send a wire off the other side to the battery and same with this bulb. So this is a parallel circuit and it's important that things work this way because so much of your car is going to be different parallel circuits. Let's say these are two license plate bulbs. We'll be working with those in the future. These are parallel branches. So you head out, you've got 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts. You don't split off any voltage here. It's still 12 volts here and it's still 12 volts here. So 12 volts gets to this bulb. It does its electrical work and then goes back home. Same with this direction, gets 12 volts here, does its electrical work, heads back home. Also, if one of these bulbs goes out, then you can still get power to the other bulb. But what if we wired them up this way? So we have 12 volts coming through this wire. It gets here and it's going through here. It has to do electrical work, but there's still more work left over on this side. So if we assume these two bulbs are the same, they have the same resistance, then you have 12 volts coming through here, You'll use up six of those volts, head to the second bulb, and use up the last six of your volts, and head back to the battery. Let's just think about what was said there, though. This is using six volts, and this is using six volts. Essentially, both of these bulbs are getting half the power that they should. So if you have a dimmer switch at home, think of how that works. You've got power coming in, powering the bulb, and then it goes through to your dimmer switch. You can raise and lower this dimmer switch, and what it's doing is changing the resistance inside. The higher the resistance, the less that bulb glows. So if you move this dimmer switch and the light bulb gets brighter, that's because the resistance in this switch is going down and most of the power is going to this light bulb. If you change that switch and it gets dimmer, that means the resistance in here is going up and a lot more of that voltage push has to push through that switch as opposed to push through this bulb element. So this bulb has resistance and this switch has resistance. You alter the resistance here and you get a change here. So going back to these bulbs, this bulb is going to be dimmed by this bulb and this bulb is going to be dimmed by this bulb. But also take note that there's only one path through both of these bulbs. If this bulb burns out, say that happens, there's no power that can flow through that and that means nothing's powering this bulb either. While this is less likely to happen now because these are both producing less heat, something can still happen elsewhere that will make you lose power to both of your bulbs. So when you're using a battery, amperage is kind of a way you can use to figure out how quickly that battery is gonna be depleted. So we're gonna look at parallel versus series circuits and how much amperage they draw. With parallel, you've got a branch heading from your 12 volt battery to here and separately to this other one and then they come back separately as well. So this voltage divided by resistance is going to be four amps. So there's four amps on here, and there's also four amps on here. So you add those together, you're gonna to have eight amps on your parallel circuit. Now what about in series? With series, you add these two together because you're meeting a resistor here, so three ohms of resistance, then you continue on three more ohms of resistance, you're dealing with in total on that circuit, six ohms of resistance. So resistance is six, voltage is 12, you end up with two amps. Come on, two amps. So look at that, the difference between a series and parallel is not even half. This is a quarter of the amperage of this. So running these two light bulbs in series is going to dim the bulbs a bit, but you are using a quarter of the power to do it. Now that we've done the math, let's head out to the Mercury Montego and look at a real life example of this. First we have to take the protective coating off of these wires. Next we're looking for which wire is positive and binding the two together. Technically you don't have to bind the two together, but if they are on separate circuits with separate detectors for bulb outage detection, then binding them together may eliminate the sensor detecting that there's a bulb out. Next I'm taking the positive from one bulb and connecting it to the negative of the other bulb. Put the protective layer back on and put everything back together. 
Here's what those LED plate lights look like in parallel. And after we made our changes, here's what they look like in series. These are so dim that you'll probably get pulled over by the police. I went looking through my stash of old bulbs and I did find some LEDs with lower resistance. So in the end, I don't recommend doing this to your car, but I do hope that this was a good demonstration of the difference between series and parallel circuits. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.